Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy Hubble here today, and we're back with week two predictions in the NFL. So week one was something. It was pretty fun for everybody not named me because the New York Giants kind of suck. But, I mean, honestly, I set myself up for failure by becoming a Giants fan when I was born. So thanks, Mom and Dad, for that stupidity. Speaking of stupidity, we're going to kick things off Thursday, September 12th with the inaugural edition of Thursday Night Football on Fox, Amazon Prime Video, and NFL Network. We're going to have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers visiting the Carolina Panthers. Okay, so Jameis Winston has lost his has lost 12 road starts in a row. That's bad. You know what else is bad? The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know what's not as bad as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? The Carolina Panthers. They took uh, they took the Rams down to the wire last week. So I'm just gonna give the Panthers a win in this game. They're just not the worst team on paper throughout the league, but obviously it doesn't mean anything. But they showed a lot to me last week, and Tampa Bay is just a garbage fire, dumpster fire team. They suck. There's nothing I can really do about that, obviously. But I feel bad for Buccaneers fans. If you're out there, I hope you don't kill yourself. Please don't. Uh, but yeah. I'm going with the Panthers next Sunday, September 15th. The Dallas Cowboys are visiting the Washington Redskins. And if you think I'm not picking the Cowboys, you're absolutely wrong. I have to pick the Cowboys. They ran a train on the Giants last week, which was not fun to watch. Nor was it fun to participate in. Nor was it fun to hear the backlash of all week as I got called many expletives for being a Giants fan and picking them. Uh, so that wasn't fun. So yeah, I'm picking the Reds. Uh, <clears throat> I'm picking the Cowboys rather because I'm an intelligent human being. Next up, the uh, Indianapolis Colts are going to visit the Tennessee Titans. So obviously, the big shock of last week, the Titans beat the Cleveland Browns. I don't think anybody saw that coming. But obviously, you know the Browns aren't the worst team in the league, and they're going to bounce back. But I mean, boy, did they did the Titans look impressive. Uh, and, and honestly, I know I, I, I talked a lot of smack about Marcus Mariota last week, but he, he looked pretty good. So, all things considered, you know, looking at the Colts, they played a good game last week, went into overtime and lost, unfortunately. But the Andrew Luck being gone factor, you know, Jacoby Brissett played an efficient game, but still don't have Melvin Gordon. Austin Eckler is, he, he's a decent back, but... That you're going to need a lot more production out of Eckler and your guys outside. Keenan Allen's obviously a stud, but you just you, you need something more from this team. And you know, I, I really want to pick the Colts, and I want to see them do well, even though I hate them. But I just, I just I have to pick the Titans. That's my gut, and I'm, I'm going to go with them. Next, we have the Seattle Seahawks visiting the Pittsburgh Steelers, and oh boy. See, this is tricky because the Steelers last week, they... Were, were really systematically picked apart by the Patriots. Just great play calling offensively and defensively by New England. And, I mean, 33-3 to speaks for itself. And Seattle played a really fun game against Cincinnati. I, I, just, I have to go with the Seahawks. And I know I'm, I'm pretty much picking all the teams who, who have a win. But, I mean, when, when you look at the way these teams played, it's kind of hard not to pick them. I, I, I like a lot of what Seattle's doing. Their ability to run the football, DK Metcalf looked very good. That defense is, it's, it's always going to be one of the, the top groups in the league, so I'm picking Seattle. Next, the Buffalo Bills and my New York football Giants. And uh, as, as much as I don't want to commit bodily harm to myself after watching the Giants play last week, I'm not going to, even though I, I really should, because they... <laughs> I mean, how do you let Dak Prescott have a perfect passer rating and four touchdowns? It hurts. Like, I, I physically cannot wrap my brain around it. And it just it makes me want to cry. But whatever. We're going to get Dak Prescott overpaid. Jerry Jones is going to run out of money, and I'm going to be a happy man. Because the New York Giants will be back sooner than later. Not this season. But as soon as Daniel Jones steps on the field, guaranteed we see a turnaround in this team. Okay, so... The Buffalo Bills, down 16 to nothing. They come back. They win by one. They look really good. Josh Allen looked really good. And with that being said, <laughs> foolishly, I'm going to pick the New York Giants. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's because they're my favorite team. Maybe it's because I feel like they're going to have a bounce back from that horrid defensive performance. 
I don't know. I just I have to pick the Giants. And uh, yeah, I'm wishy-washy today. But what can what can I do? Patriots, Dolphins. We're going with the Patriots. Nothing more needs to be said. Antonio Brown. Don't get uh, don't don't rape people. Um, NRG Stadium, Houston, Texas. The Jaguars and the Texans. God damn it. The Houston Texans. Those that organization does not deserve to have Deshaun Watson playing for them. As I look at his jersey again, as I did last week, the poor guy has no help. He has no help. I mean, he's got DeAndre Hopkins, he's got Will Fuller, he's got Kenny Stills, but that defense and Romeo Cornell and Bill O'Brien, they're a problem, and it hurts. And it, it makes me painful all over my body. But when you look at Jacksonville, they lost Nick Foles. Gardner Minshew comes in. My favorite player ever out of whatever Wazoo, wherever he came from. But uh, <laughs> but Gardner Minshew did not look terrible. But I feel like this, uh, this Texans defense is going to play a little better. J.J. Watt might actually get a, a tackle in this game, which would be nice. So I'm going to pick the Texans. So my Aaron Rodgers jersey came in today. As I said last week, it was on its way. It's here. And I'm picking the Packers to beat the Vikings in Lambeau Field. They have AR-12. There's nothing more that needs to be said. The Green Bay Packers. And I'm sorry, Vikings fans. What you did against Atlanta last week was a fluke. Your team still sucks. That's all I want to That's all I want to reiterate. Because I said it last week. They suck. This week, they suck. They're going to suck forever. I hate the I hate the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> okay, I got the Packers. Uh, L.A. Chargers, Detroit Lions. So, what happened to the Lions? How do you how, how do you blow, what was that, a 23 to whatever lead, go to overtime, and then tie? Pathetic. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm picking the Chargers. There's just a lot to love there in L.A. So, uh, yeah, I'm pick the Chargers. Okay, uh, Paul Brown Stadium, Cincinnati, Ohio. San Francisco 49ers, Cincinnati Bengals. So the Bengals might have lost last week, but they looked really good. Uh, they they kept pace scoring with the Seahawks, which I didn't think they had the ability to do. But uh, the 49ers, on the other hand, they've, they've got a, a bit of a ways to go for me to take them seriously. I know they won, and they literally already have more interceptions this season than they did all of last year, which is incredible. Now I'm still going to take the Bengals and the league leading passer, Mr. Andy Dalton. Next up, the Arizona Cardinals and the Baltimore Ravens. What was I going to say? Yeah, so uh, Lamar Jackson. Dude looked like a stud. The best running back I've ever seen in my entire life. The Arizona Cardinals. I mean, Kyler Murray. Dude balled out. He really did. That was pleasant to see, but I'm going to pick the Ravens. They just looked so good last week. It's hard not to pick them. Kansas City Chiefs, Oakland Raiders. I like what Oakland did Monday night. feel bad for Gary and Conley. I hope he gets better. But guys like Hunter Renfro, all my Clemson guys, they played really well. But uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, they don't have Tyree Kill, but they've still got Sammy Watkins and that bad man throwing the football, Patrick Mahomes. So I'm going to pick the Chiefs. The, uh, the Saints and the Rams. So... I could go into a long diatribe about the NFC Championship game, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna say the call was correct, <laughs> and uh, the result will be the same. The Rams are gonna win this game, partially because my hatred right now for New Orleans is at an all-time high for what they did on Monday night. I will never forgive Will Lutz. If I ever see that man in public, I might hurt him. Uh, so. <laughs> Picking the Rams. Chicago Bears, Denver, Broncos. Joe Flacco looked so lackadaisical Monday night. It, he looked like such a joke. And, I mean, Chicago, Chicago. If, if Thursday is to be reminiscent of their entire season, then I feel bad for the Chicago Bears. But I don't think that is what, how they're going to play all year. I feel like they're going to play more akin to what we saw last year and then and then, and then double down on that and, and grow and become a better team. So I got to pick the Bears. I just I really like Mitch Trubisky. I like those guys he's throwing the football to. That defense is obviously crazy, so I'm going to pick the Bears. Uh, the Eagles and the Falcons are playing in Atlanta. The Eagles look really good. They made that big comeback. And I know I talked the Falcons up a lot last week. I, I said they might 
win the NFC possibly, but I'm throwing that out the window. They just, that was such an abysmal performance against a subpar Vikings team. There's no other way to go than to pick the Eagles in this game. That defensive, or that defense just really, it came alive. And, and they did something that I just, I didn't foresee happening. They they really put the nail in the coffin for the Redskins season. And I know it's only week one, but that poor franchise, if they don't get Dwayne Haskins in there soon, they're F-U-C-K-E-D. You know, the drill. Yeah, I'm picking the Falcons. And that game is all on Sunday Night Football on NBC. So just for your guys' reference, reference, referential point? Just for your guys' reference. Yeah, we're going to go with that. It's on Sunday Night Football on NBC. Then Monday, September 16th, 2019, the Cleveland Browns are facing the New York Jets. Both these teams are 0-1. Neither of them played particularly good football last week. The Browns especially didn't play good football. They really underwhelmed, I think, the entire country. I know a Browns fan took all of his Browns merchandise to his front lawn and burned it all. That guy's a goddamn idiot. But, um, well, I mean, in all, in all fairness to that guy, I've thought about burning my Eli Manning jersey several times, as well as myself burning my Eli Manning jersey while I'm wearing it. But I haven't done that yet, clearly. And, but the Browns, they've got a bright future. They've got a lot to look forward to. And they will continue to kind of build upon that loss. You know, it's it's really a humbling experience when you get that hyped up and then you get punched right in the mouth. But the Jets, on the other hand, I mean, Le'Veon Bell looked really good. The defense looked pretty good, all things considered, at least for a half. But in that second half, man, I don't know if it was Sam Darnold if it was the defense coming unglued, but they just they disappointed me. I don't know what, what more to say. I, I thought this team was going to be way more balanced and way more well-rounded than it ended up being last Sunday. And the the Browns have a legit shot to win this game. I don't think they won't. So, they're, I mean, they're my pick in this game, but the Jets, you know, I, I want to see a little bit more consistency out of them. I want to see them be able to play the level of football they played early in that game against Buffalo consistently for four quarters for 16 games uh the, the, the jets are not bad they're not a bad team all things considered they were they're really not and the browns obviously they're not a bad team but they just got they got punched in the mouth bad and they're gonna rebound from it they're gonna get a big win on monday night football and there you have it that's week two ladies and gentlemen cut this thing under 14 minutes so i'm proud of myself i'm proud to be an american god damn it um never forget 9-11 that was yesterday but never forget uh so yeah that's week two if you hey if you guys have anything to add further you have any questions any comments anything you want to debate me on make sure to drop that in the comment section below make sure to leave a like on the video hit that subscribe button share this video with all your friends your family your neighbors your best friends your girlfriends anybody you might enjoy in your life let them know that i do this every week Thank you guys for watching. It's going to do it for me, you boy hobo. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.